Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivana with Mac Automation Tips. This is day five and the final day of the Mac Automation Challenge. In this particular video, I'm going to show you four ways that I quickly create text expansion snippets in Keyboard Maestro, Text Expander, Pop Clip, and Alfred. So stay tuned. All right, so let's get going here. I'm going to use Apple Mail as kind of my text document here. So basically, um, you know, like when you're creating text expansions, you know, they're really fast when you can, when, you know, you execute them, right? You can just type an abbreviation and, you know, it expands a word or a phrase or even a whole paragraph. But sometimes it can be really a pain to have to create them. It takes a lot of, it takes different steps to kind of manually go and open up Text Expander and put it all in there. So the first way that I normally do this in Text Expander, say for example, I have, you know, this phrase here, this video. I've been, you know, typing the word video for uh, a lot lately. So if I wanted to turn that into a Text Expansion, all I do is I have this map to a Keyboard Maestro string trigger and I just type, NSS and basically what that does is selects that word right there and then uh, from here I can do and type my abbreviation which VD has already been used so I have to figure out one there but I'm just going to for the purposes of this tutorial I'm not going to uh, create one right now just to show you so that's my really quick way of doing a text expansion for one word all right, so now the second way that I create uh, a text expansion in, in Text Expander, if I'm if I'm dealing with a, you know like more than one word, what I'll do is select that word, and here you go, here pop clip pops up, and you know, it's very convenient, and then it says create text expander snippet, and right there it does the same thing, and I can go ahead and type that phrase and, and add a, an abbreviation for it. All right, so the next one is, next way I do this is, um, is, say if I were using Alfred, and I don't use Alfred for text expansion, but I know some of you do, what you can do in Alfred is, so you call up your, um, you know, your your history of, of, um, of clippings right here, so I'll do this here, and you see video is already in there. What I can do is, you know, you can do is, you can put Command S, right, and it will open up the, um, the text expansion feature here in alpha right here and then you can just fill it in so it already fills in the word for you and then you have to fill in the name the keyword and that kind of thing and put it in to your particular collection this is a little bit uh a little bit kind of too many steps for me but uh i know some of you use alfred or maybe think about using alfred so this would be a quick way to do that all right so this last way is one that um these are text expansions that i don't keep uh, but if I know that I'm, I'm going to be typing a word um, you know a lot in while I'm typing and but I don't want to stop and create an expansion for it I probably don't need to um, I use a, a little kind of a, a kind of a, a macro in keyboard maestro to do this and so basically if I were going to be typing video a lot in you know in a in an essay I mean in an article or what have you I would do TPC and what that does is that that it it selects um the the word video and then it puts it on a special clipboard in in the keyboard maestro and then when i need to expand that i have an assigned shortcut fh and i can just fh here and it will um you know expand that word and this is you know and it stays that that particular word stays in that uh, name clipboard uh, until I overwrite it, right? So this is not a permanent one like you do in Text Expander. Now, if I wanted to do the entire phrase there, um, I hold down, I have a, a shift control key and I use the right, I mean the left arrow key and I go one, two here and it adds that to the name clipboard, right? And then um, and from there, oops, from there, I just do FH and then it will do that. So that's a little bit more advanced and I can do a video about how I put that together, but I'll show you a screenshot here of how it looks so for those of you that are familiar with uh, Text Expander. And I also have an article that I will link to in the um, show notes or in the comment section below, I mean, in the discussion, what did it call? Whatever it's called down below, um, the description section, the, the section below, uh, I'll send a link an article to how that gets done. 
All right, so that's it for this tutorial today. I really hope that you got something out of that. And let me know in the comment section below what type of ways that you kind of save text expansion cl uh, uh, clippings right there, right? And this is the last day of the five day challenge. Really appreciate it, it's been really it's been great fun doing it. But this is not the last time that I'll be sharing videos. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'll be publishing videos at least once a week, if not more. And you can also find Find some content on my website macautomationtips.com really appreciate your feedback and your questions because that helps me create videos and other content thanks a lot